It's only half past six. Don't forget, there'll be an update on the day's main stories later in the hour. Now it's time to join the BBC's news teams across the UK. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm Jamie Owen. You're watching Wales Today. On St David's Day, Prince Charles speaks of the tragedy of steelworkers losing their jobs. South Wales Police Chief says there's been no political pressure investigating Liberal Democrat Mike German. Now we are three, the family photo doctors said would never happen. And 50 years young and flying high, celebrations for Pembrokeshire's National Park. Good evening. On St David's Day, Prince Charles has come to Wales and offered support to communities devastated by massive job cuts in the steel industry. He said the closure of the chorus works at Ebervale is a tragedy. He offered the help of his own agencies and organisations. Whatever you're doing, have a nice weekend. Jamie. Derek, thanks very much. It's coming up to 7 o'clock. Tonight's headlines from the BBC. The parents of a girl who died from a heroin overdose have released harrowing pictures of the body of their daughter in the hope it will deter other young people from using drugs. Rachel Whittier, who had a promising future, died in her bedsit aged 21. In India, 50 Muslims have been killed in the worst ethnic fighting for more than a decade. The tit-for-tat killings in the western province of Gujarat began when 56 Hindus were killed in a Muslim attack on a train. Back home, Prince Charles has used his traditional St David's Day visit to Wales to offer support for communities devastated by huge job losses in the steel industry. On a visit to Ebervale, he described the closure of the chorus plant as a tragedy. More on all of tonight's stories in our bulletin at 9 o'clock on BBC 2W, that's for digital viewers, and here on BBC One at 10.25 with Claire Summers. That's Wales today. Enjoy the weekend from Derek, me and all of us on the programme. Good evening.